here we're looking at 30 seconds to Mars and they are known for uh, the owls of Gohul they're all over Hollywood and uh, now you can see the symbol they use the uncapped or the capped pyramid pyramid with capstone using the Illuminati pyramid this is war calling to arms here's the X symbol we saw previously representing the Sun and Osiris Isis Horus we have Mars um, the single eye symbology the Phoenix symbology which is occult resurrection moving on now they do the triple six and they say talk about Lucifer in their videos power Lucifer split second you can see that in we should understand that it's indoctrination it's brainwashing okay legends of the guardians they did the theme song for that of course this is the owl of Minerva or the owls of Minerva the Illuminati pyramid hand sign the single eye symbology eye in the triangle crossing the hands which is X or Osiris and Lucifer and Horus all of the same God single eye symbology red and black for Satanism I mean and call it fantasy if you want yeah this is a cult in plain sight on stage for you yes it's just entertainment isn't it just keep telling yourself pyramids the religion of Egypt black and white promoting war they are all about war don't think that they're not here is triangles those are split seconds now looking at Nicki Minaj and her performance at the Grammys 2012 this is a Catholic bishop or a priest she's dressed in Versace in red she comes and confesses her uh, on confession Catholic confession she is now has eyes in the back of the head representing demonic possession I see I show you that in the pentagram uh, early on in this series Roman is her demon and again mind control demonic possession schizophrenia she is playing out her one of her alter egos which is Roman here's the Catholic uh, connotation to all of that psychologically what does this do on one end it sympathizes for the Catholic Church when the Catholic Church says no I don't want this to happen um, uh, so people have sympathy and say oh Catholicism must be good they are Christian on the other note it shows you what Catholicism is really about so the people in the know know that Catholicism is pagan it's Babylonian in origin and you can show uh, see that in my uh, other earlier videos in this series and so now you see the demonic possession and her being levitated in that possession Michael Jackson thriller black and white connotations again satanic checkerboards of Freemasonry and I'm gonna uh, show the screen here go ahead and read these lyrics this is Demerol Demerol is morphine he was uh, when he died he was shown to have taken an overdose in Demerol when you are reading these lyrics think about uh, there are three different personalities here in these lyrics I can count three myself but if you cannot understand the weirdness and the understanding of what this is all about drug inducement satanic ritual abuse we saw early on what Michael Jackson was doing as far as single eye symbology eye in the triangle here's his doctor supposedly but look what he's dressed in Freemasonry here's that sign they take you down it doesn't matter if you're a Freemason or, or not they will take you down it's cut and dry as far as sat Satanism is concerned he will br lift you up and he will take you down in a heartbeat and somebody will satanically and ritually murder you uh, as a ritual so here he is uh, mu what is this uh, music video awards MTV 
I forget what year this is, but this is in the 19, uh, 20th century. And you can see the connotation to the octopus and the um, uh, Freemasonry and those colors. Now let's understand Whitney Houston and her ritual. And I call it a ritual because in the outside world, she is a Baptist and she's a gospel singer. But what in the world are Egyptian sarcophaguses doing on the back of the mortuary where all of the actors and the musicians and the dignitaries came through to go see the body of pay their last respects to Whitney on through the night these sarcophaguses are there remember outwardly they are Roman Catholic or they are Christian and they hold a Bible and go into church and, and do the church thing inwardly they are somebody different and this is in previous plates I show you this now look She's where, uh, showing the X symbology. This is not, oh, I'm sorry, Whitney, uh, uh, you're, uh, I feel for you. She's clearly showing the X symbology, as is Mary J. Blige here and Alistair Crowley. You see the X symbology. This is similar. This is Osiris going on. And these are examples of that X symbology, X factor and the symbol of the X moving on. And you can see it clearly because that's the devil sign of being associated with the X sign. Now when this actor died, Michael Clark Duncan, rest in peace and here is the X symbolism. We should understand what that means. And in Freemasonry we do have the uh, X symbol in the Masonic Lodge. You can pause and read about that in the uh, super excellent master's degree. It all references Egypt and Babylon. Now we saw this, the Knights Templar cross and crown. This is not a Christian symbol. This is the phallic symbol. This is the female part and this is the male part. This is in our churches. They have infiltrated most of our churches and you can see here Jesse Jackson here 33rd degree Jesse Jackson on this live taping of uh, Whitney Houston's funeral here is the uh, music industry guy now look at her mother she's wearing the leopard print uh, she has that as her lapel that's Whitney Houston's mom she's wearing not wearing anything here but when the casket is brought out look what she wears can we recognize what that is with the two women adorning her in stripes it's the headpiece they're showing you in plain sight who Whitney is where she comes from and in plain sight on national television where their allegiance lies the God of Egypt these are children brought up in that. Look at, she's wearing black and white and the X symbol here. Now Whitney Houston, I'm sorry, Oprah Winfrey. Uh, this is Oprah's next chapter and she's talking about Whitney's uh, and her family interviewing her. Look at on the wall, be still and know that I am. The actual verse is be still and know that I am God. Not that I am, we are individually. But God is saying this, and they took out the key word. Not only do they have that, here's Buddha in this um, segment. Do you see that? Here's the black and white symbology, and that end of that, it's very uh, sad. They cry, and they uh, show again, be still and know that I am. Now they're crossbreeding religion, and in the Bible it's called religious fornication or harlotry. This is Revelation 17, a woman riding the beast. Read all about it, understand it, it's here.